More questions about foreign money in Canadian elections. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. It's an issue I've been speaking to you about for a long time. I raised it before the 2015 federal election, during the 2015 federal election, and several times since, most recently in April, discussing what was revealed at a Senate committee looking into this issue, that well, someone could take foreign money six months and one day before and spend as much of it as they wanted campaigning as a third party in a federal election. Well, now there are more questions being raised, this time by an official report written up by a group calling itself Canada Decides. They've tabled this report with Elections Canada and soon it will be tabled in the House of Commons for all to see. We've learned a little bit about what they allege so far, such as several groups with ties to groups such as Tides. You know Tides. It's a kind of a slush fund for U.S. millionaires and billionaires to send their charitable donations to, and then it is shared with the best and brightest progressive causes throughout North America. While there are lots of questions about that, just the release of this report and a column in the Calgary Herald, though, has done something that uh, so far has eluded us, and that is that the mainstream media is picking up on it. I want to show you a couple of examples of this. Let's start with this Canadian press report showing that there, were a, there was a big spike in the number of complaints about third parties and the election in 2015. The number of complaints about third party activities during the last federal election jumped almost ninefold over the previous one, prompting the elections commissioner su to suggest an update to the rules. A spokeswoman for Yves Cote, the commissioner of Canada elections, told the Canadian press there were 105 complaints related to third party activities in the 2015 campaign. Want to know how many there were in all of 2011's election? 12. That's right, from 12 to 105. Dramatic increase. It has been described as the wild, wild west in the last election, especially in those areas where certain groups decided to get together and campaign against the Conservatives. Let's back anyone that could beat the Conservatives. But this shouldn't matter whether you back the Conservatives, the Liberals, or the New Democrats. What we're talking about is major foreign money coming into Canada's election at a time when we're all worried of talking about Russian meddling in the U.S. election. We have U.S. and possibly other foreign money coming into Canada to meddle in our election. So, story in iPolitics pointing out that Conservative MP Michael Cooper is asking for an investigation. Let me read. Conservative MP Michael Cooper is calling on the Commissioner of Canada Elections to investigate eight groups that were active in the 2015 election campaign while receiving nearly $700,000 from the U.S.-based Tides Foundation. Uh, what groups are we talking about? Well, groups like Council of Canadians. They received $35,575 from Tides in 2015. They spent $139,000 on the election. Dogwood Initiative. They took $221,000 from Tides in 2015. They spent $80,000 on the election. And I've shown you in the past that LEAD now has received lots of money through Tides or other associated groups. They spent $137,000 campaigning. It's not just me, it's not just Conservatives that are saying this is wrong. Check out what Jean-Pierre Kinsley, the former Elections Commissioner in Canada, had to say. This is the guy that used to run the system under Paul Martin. What did he say? We simply cannot allow any kind of money that is not Canadian to find its way into the Canadian electoral system. This back door whereby foreign money came into Canada must be shut. We have got to slam it shut for the sake of the integrity of our electoral system. All right, there's two issues that need to be addressed. One is the idea of foreign money coming in six months prior and, well, then it's just the organization's money, the organization that received the grant from someone like Tides, or in the future it could be the government of Iran or Saudi Arabia or China or Russia. They receive that money as long as it's six months and one day before the election. They can spend as much as, uh, as they like of it campaigning for whatever cause they want in a federal election. That needs to change. Two, how we actually monitor third parties. Right now we only, only monitor election advertising spending. Nothing else counts. You have to take out an old-fashioned newspaper ad or a Facebook ad or a radio or a TV ad for or against one candidate. What the organization such as Lead Now, which claims that they helped defeat 25 conservatives, Lead Now, a group that is currently organizing and has been active in the BC election to defeat the BC liberals, what they do isn't old-fashioned advertising. 
They do on the ground work. They do get out the vote. They do phone banking. They do polling. They do all the things that campaigns normally do. And they run a shadow campaign that frees up money, time, and resources for the people that they're supporting. That has to be closely monitored. Even in the United States, these organizations that do similar works, well, they're monitored. They're spending. Their coordination with campaigns, all of it is actually under a set of rules that we simply do not have in Canada. So it's not just about foreign money, it's how third parties operate that has to change as well. All of this should be coming to a head in the next little while, but after banging the drum for two years on this, it's good to see the other guys are finally catching up. If you like the Rebel video you just watched, make sure you never miss another one. Again, click here to subscribe. If you subscribe to our regular YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to Rebel Canada. All the Trudeau news the other guys don't see fit to print.